Good morning. I thought I would share with you a couple of artists whose work is in, are inspiring me. Um, this artist uh, I'm friends with on Facebook, his name is Stuart Shills. And this is a post uh, showing a painting that he posted December 25th titled Romantic Landscape. It's on wood and the wood has been carved away or scratched into and what I found interesting is the next day, another image, the same painting, posted at 1.04 p.m. And I love how the light is cast on this work. Uh, there's a cast shadow over the top of the image. I can't tell, yeah, I think this image has been smoothed out a little bit the next day, January 1st at 11.45 a.m. And on January 4th, this is the final image posted of this painting, a romantic landscape inhabited by memory. Um, I love the titles of these works also and how the artist is using different lighting situations to further the meaning in each painting. So this one, a stage set in afternoon light for framing older dreams. And this one, maquette for the memory of revisiting a summer garden. Oftentimes as artists, I think we're, we are intent on capturing an image as it looks in even natural light. And that's not easy to translate sometimes. Um, but Schills is taking these images of the paintings and allowing shadow, temperature, um, value to, to influence the resulting photograph. I think it's fascinating. And you can see more of this on his website. But one other thing I wanted to share um, was this painting particular painting and the comments that it received. It's called Maquette in Late Afternoon Winter Light for the Memory of a Summer Day. Uh, and this particular viewer said, it is thought provoking about when to stop working on a painting. Can you elaborate on if you painted the exact same thing 15 or 20 years ago, would you have left it like this or worked more on it? And the artist said, 15 or 20 years ago, I wouldn't have been anywhere near this neighborhood of visual thought, actually. But with regard to the question, it was always an issue. Just what is the meaning and manifestation of finish? I mean, that question follows us around, regardless of what we're painting. Uh, I thought that was particularly interesting, and I started researching different quotes about art, finishing art, and trying to define why I've been having such a hard time finishing a painting recently. Um, it is hard to define, and this quote really sums it up for me, I think. At a certain moment, the painting will shout or whisper, leave me alone, and we must hear and agree and give up our active role in the conversation and let the painting speak for itself. That's Bonnie Mando. Uh, so let's look at the second artist that's been inspiring me lately. And that is Felicia Van Bork. Uh, she does collages. Here's an example of one of her collages. And the title of this image is How to Abdicate. Um, another image that she has, this one is called How to Cut Myself in Half. And How to Beat the Bushes. She's done a series, a whole series of how-to um, collages. And in response to some of those collages, she has also done 
these color grid sketchbooks and a film, a one and a half hour live action film of the sketchbooks in where you can um, see her inspiration, some of her inspiration, the color grid paintings. Um, and these, these grids are based on the colors in the collages. So I, I thought that was a fan, fantastic inspiration of how, how colors can influence us and just looking only at the colors in grid formation. So I thought I'd show you the evolu evolution of a painting that I've been battling lately, trying to maintain control and finally give up control. Uh, this is called Silvery Slough, and this is where it stood on January 1st. Um, I was making two paintings relating to each other. The first one was Wetlands. These paintings were inspired by driving along the Willamette Valley on a rainy, rainy day and seeing light hit the fields in the distance and how the color of the fields changed where the light hit it. Uh, just a sliver of pure color against neutrals. And so you can see in the beginning stages that the paintings were pretty closely related. Um, but I took the wetlands painting quite a bit further. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some posts I did, video posts of the work in progress. You can see here, as it was pretty close to being finished, and then final, the final image, that I made the painting much cooler, much more watery, drippy. Um, and so I wanted this second painting, Silvery Slough, to live up to that final wetlands image. And this is where it stood in February. Um, it was much, much warmer. When I came home from teaching my last workshop in February, um, I decided to make the painting more neutral, more subtle, trying to keep it more subtle. Um, but I really felt like it was worse than when I far first started, when I looked back at my beginning image. Then this week, I finally did some radical change. I brought the trees on the left all the way up to the top of the painting. I put some trees in the center. I lightened the foreground considerably and simplified it. Uh, working in oil, as a watercolorist, I uh, sometimes feel I have so much flexibility. I could take it in so many different directions. I could have left it here, but I didn't, I didn't feel the original impulse of that pure color against the neutral and I didn't feel that it spoke to the other painting at all. Saturday I took it in a more neutral direction still, more complex, trying to get some mid-tones in there. I still didn't like it. I took it into the Procreate app and went back in with some tints of green and finally ended up with this image on Sunday, which I do feel speaks to the wetlands image. I'll show, you. I'll show them to you side by side on the blog, but um, I do feel, feel like it finally said, leave me alone. You're at a resting spot. Uh, I hope that these inspiration uh, shots of different artists' work, uh, titles, visiting Santa Monica with my family in summer. Different photographic techniques. I hope that some of these ideas uh, bring new meaning to my work. And I'll look forward to sharing more with you in the future.